in this video we are going to see a system and we will check its classification that is whether it is static or dynamic or it is causal non-causal or it is time invariant or varying with time or linear non-linear so system is given like this So for this system, we need to check whether it is memoryless So check whether the system is memory less. then causal linear and time invariant so let's start now first point is discussing about the memory so we have seen that Whenever there is a term in T which is either a shift in time whether it is a delay or advance then I can say the system requires memory but in the expression y of t equal to tx of t there is no shift given in T especially x of t so I can say the system does not require memory hence it is a memory less so in the system which is y of t equal to tx of t the present output depends only on present input so it's quite obvious you keep on increasing the value of t corresponding change in there in the y of t so there is no time delay or advance in the input side hence system does not require memory so i can say present output present input so i can say now system does not require memory hence y of t is memory less so we have discussed the first criteria the system is memory less Let's go to the next that is the causal system. For a system to be causal, we need to have output which depends on present and past values. So here it depends on the present values only. So yes, the system given is a causal system because we have seen that all memoryless systems are causal. As I can say, y of t is a causal system so second criteria is also discussed let's go to the third linearity now for the linearity we need to check whether this system is fulfilling homogeneity and superposition property or not 
for that we need to do little exercise so system given is y of t equal to t times x of t now let's check about the linearity assume that there is an input signal x1 which is applied to this system and output we obtain is y1 and we can say y1 will be nothing but simply t into x1t. I will get equation number 1. Similarly, I apply second input x2 to get a second output y2 and y2t is nothing but t times x2t. Now comes the third input that is x3t. But the third input we are taking as a linear combination of first two, meaning I will take x3t as a x1t plus b x2t. Now this is the third input applying to the system to get a corresponding output y3 like this. The third output will be t times the input which is a x1 t plus b x2 t. Let's simplify. I will get a t x1 t plus b t x2 equation number 3 over here I can say tx1 t is y1 and tx2 t is y2 so over here I replace as y1 here I replace as y2 so I will get ax1 t plus bx2 t is nothing but a y1 t plus b y2 t. So now what I can say over here corresponding multiplication in the x1 and x2 results into output also and the same time addition of two signals at the input side resultant responses are also getting added. So this equation will state that this system is fulfilling two properties homogeneity and superposition hence y of t is a linear system Let's discuss the last property that is time invariance. Now for time invariance, what we are going to do to the inputs x of t, we are going to shift it by some amount t0 and we'll check whether the same shift is occurring at the output side or not. So the system is y of t equal to tx of t. To this system, the input apply is say x1t, which will give a corresponding output y1t, where y1t is tx1t equation number 1. This video. Now, let's consider the second input, which is time shifted version of x1t. So, I'll write over here.
So I delay x of t by t zero units, and this x two t is now giving to a system whose output is y two t, and y two t is nothing but t times x two t. Now x two t is x one t minus t zero. So I will get y two t. As t times x one t minus t zero. This is the equation number two. Now we need to check whether this is equal to a expression which we obtain by replacing t with t minus t zero. Replace t by T minus T zero in equation number one. So if I do it, I will get new expression as y one T minus T zero equal to T minus T zero x one T minus T zero equation number three. Now, in order to have a system to be a time invariant, equation number two and equation number three need to be equal. So over here, that is not a case. This is getting multiplied with t, whereas here it is getting multiplied with t minus t zero. So what I can say now. From equations two and three, I can say y one t minus t zero is not equal to y two t. So, if a shift is made to the input side, there won't be a corresponding shift. I'm getting at the output side. Rather, output signal is Changing drastically, so I can say this is not fulfilling a property of a time invariance. Hence, the system is not a time invariant. So now, all the four properties we have discussed. So let's summarize. So the given system y of t equal to t x of t is memoryless. Causal linear. And not a time invariant. So this is a conclusion for a problem that we have seen. Thank you.